Hello everyone, welcome to the Criterion Connection, I'm Wade. And I'm Joe. And we're here for the first time in 2023. We were going to record some stuff earlier, but uh, I got COVID, so, you know, couldn't really do it. We had a quarantine, so here we are, and I thought we should kick off the year the right way and completing the collection of the Jackie Chan Police Story 1 and 2 collection. It's not the full collection, because there's three others. Yeah, there's a there's Super Cop, there's First Contact, and then there's uh, the new Police Story. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is from 1988. We cover Police Story one. You can go into the archives and check that out. Uh, there'll probably be a link right there, so you can uh, check it out. Mm -hmm. um, we liked Police Story, but it's okay if you didn't watch Police Story and you want to watch Police Story two. Well, guess what? The first two minutes is the complete recap with. <laughs> Can we talk about how awesome the police story theme is? Um, yes, as long as we also talk about how awesome police story is. Oh, uh, no, police story <laughs> is awesome. I do think police story 2 is a little bit of a, a notch down, because we didn't have a car go through an entire village That's downhill. True. That's true. And uh, the fireworks factory is probably not as impactful as, as the, mall. the mall. Yeah. But it's still pretty awesome. Yeah, I think... Yeah, it's it's not it's not quite on the same level, but it still delivers. Oh yeah, it's you yeah. still got Jackie Chan as Kevin or was Kakui. It, Kakui, but in the Wikipedia it's like Kevin. Yeah. Uh, and uh, May played by Maggie Chung, and of course, uh, most everyone else comes back, but it, like Maggie goes through all stuff, and it's it's a theme in this show. You do not harm Maggie Chung, yeah. right? Don't do it. That's a theme, and every freaking review we do um maggie we love you if you love watching you're probably not anyway um i hope so so basically it's like the old villains come back kind of and there's a new threat a bomb threat yeah well the old villains they're there but it's i don't want to get into that yet yes i don't want to get into that yet but the old villains they do make a return um was it uh, Mr. Chu? Yeah, it's Chu like a Chu Tao. Yeah. Um, and his four eyed friend. Yes. But it, so we pick up like right after the first movie. Yeah, there's a point where like the guy, the, the, the sergeant's like, you couldn't take the stairs instead of doing the whole <laughs> pole thing. He's like, you couldn't take the stairs. Yeah. So um, we pick up right after Police Story 1, right after the whole mall sequence. They put chew in jail and he's basically getting berated by the captain um and and his uncle or i'm not sure if it's his uncle for real or if it's just you know something you would call a uh, respected Men, like yeah. senior um over there but uh they're both there and he's getting chewed out for being a super cop and of course, he's being glib and humble, and the guy's like, "You, you think you're above the law?" And all this. He's like, "No, I don't." But um, what the setup is is that Mister Chu actually gets out of jail because he has like a couple months to live. Yeah, so it's determined that he uh, only has a few months left to live, so they let him out just for like his terminal illness, which I totally thought was the a movie's ploy. It was going to be a completely different like a part lie. of the story. Yeah, like oh, he, no, he, like no, he no. scammed him. He legit is dying. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he actually is dying because uh, we see him later. Um, but because he comes off like such a like... A menace. Like, they call it a... Like a, a uh, I forgot what kind of release they called it. Um, I forget too. Yeah, it's it's like a bereavement or... Yeah, but like he but, gets off. Yeah. And they're mostly like... Like, you think they're going to be the villain, but then they throw this whole, like, this bomb threat it's uh, a squad kind of thing going on. So, they build them up throughout the movie, and this is going to be a spoiler alert. Yes. They build them up as the threat in this movie, because he they start uh, pretty much following and picking on Kakui, and eventually realizing May would be the better target yeah. to get at him. 
And so there's several sequences where he ends up having to fight him off. Or, Great sequences. Yeah, or... The restaurant and the my favorite... Probably my favorite in the entire movie is the playground fight. Yeah. They're all spectacular. Jackie Chan and his stunt crew. And the guy, of course, gets his glasses broke every time. <laughs> That's the running gag. Yeah. It, they're incredible. Um, but basically, it's him either... Like, they get away with pushing his buttons and doing veiled threats and it provokes him to end up in these scenarios where he gets admonished and and yelled at and eventually he resigns and spoiler it is the shortest resignation <laughs> in film history i think yeah. he so he resigns because he just he, he can't deal with getting yelled at all the time he doesn't want to have chu and that gang hurt may there's more all, importantly there's than the, anything there's the pre, the uh, problem with, there's the issue with may where yeah. it's like you know she doesn't want to be like constantly mm-hmm. harassed she doesn't want yeah. him to put his body on the line you know she yeah. cares about him and she wants him to kind of calm down can't but, be super cop just be cop but she's always super supportive you know she says it multiple times that he's like but i build enemies and they want to hurt you and she goes if you didn't build enemies that means you're not doing your job well you know, you're a cop. You're supposed to make enemies with criminals. Yeah. That means you're doing good. But when he finally resigns, she's so excited to spend more time with him. And then a damn bomb. And then something happens that escalates after he had helped. Um, He's basically Because we don't have the mall no more. Basically, he resigned <laughs> and got back into the uh, force within like 10 minutes of the movie. They, they <laughs> literally go to the travel agency to book their vacation to Bali. And as they're leaving, he gets sucked back in. Yeah. Uh, because a, a situation happens at the mall. And he makes a judgment call because he had... Like, that's what's so great about Jackie Chan's character, Kakui, is that... And I apologize if I keep pronouncing it wrong. Um, but that's Super Cop. it's so great about his character because he is so earnest. Earnest and wanting to help and just always putting Selfless. others others above himself. Yeah. And so he can't help but to help. Yeah, and, and it brings him back in. Yeah, and it's basically uh, I don't want to go further into the plot because yeah. there's a lot of things like you meet the the actual villains and mm-hmm. <clears throat> they're a threat. They become a threat. Very much nice <clears throat> so. Um, you also have some great. It's just like Police Story One, where it has great kung fu action and martial arts and just stunts, yeah, but the, also the has stunts. the comedy. Like mm-hmm. <clears throat> Police Story One was like the phones thing, mm-hmm. and this one's like he's in the disguise of the mustache. And it's all yeah. itchy and stuff. There's also the one where like <clears throat> May's yelling at him in the in the shower. Oh room. yeah, the uh, <clears throat> the locker room. Yeah. And she goes into like the the stall with that one guy. Just like, what the what is going on? Yeah, his uncle. Um, the, the uncle. Yeah. yeah, there's like the you know the glasses breaking gag. <clears throat> there's stuff. a lot of great stuff. Yeah, and and it's not just like just stunts, but just like there's the part where they're trying to sneak in and bug an office, and uh, you know the one cop kind of distracts the receptionist and jackie chan slips in like super slick yeah and then like has to hide under the table and it's so many of those incredible sequences and incredible creative yeah. sequences that i think highlights uh what early jackie chan films and especially his hong kong fa- films were yeah. they're just so good and so interesting and creative and so one of a kind. Uh, there's there's a reason why he's uh, a global legend at this yeah. point. And the soundtrack's also great. Oh, the soundtrack's great. Um, I, th- I, think, <laughs> I don't know if we called, talked about in the police story, but um, the previous review. But it's like I think uh, this is not common knowledge. Uh, I think this is common knowledge now. Where a good comparison of a Jackie Chan movie as opposed to like a Jet Li movie or whatever is, it's like if you take the kung fu stuff of like a Bruce Lee. Mm-hmm. But you mix it with like a Buster Keaton, yes, or a Harold Lloyd, or, or something mm-hmm. like that, where it's like it's got that silent era vaudeville kind of like humor and mm-hmm. like like mannerisms, but with kung fu. And <clears throat> and also, as you see, I'm a big fan of the Jackie Chan movies. And, and I think it's also worth pointing out that it's it's incredible like storytelling through his martial yes. arts and stunts, where 
he is a super cop in how much he cares, how much he works, and how efficient he is, but he doesn't always win. He's not always just dominating people. Yeah. There's he ain't no John Wick. Yeah, there's those points where he gets caught in vulnerable situations or in disadvantageous situations. Yeah. And it like forces nice, him to overcome things. Like the fire the firework factory where yeah. he falls down that freaking tube and, and he falls all the way through the bomb so he has to get all the way back to the top. Yeah. Um some great stuff. Um there's actually a good supplemental that's on the, the actual police story Blu ray. The this the police story two one. Um where there's uh this guy Grady, I got wrote it down. Grady Hendrix. He breaks down the editing. Mm-hmm. I wanted to call it out because I thought it was a really cool thing. Mm-hmm. He breaks down the editing of a Jackie Chan like fight scene, how it's like a rhythm mm-hmm. because Jackie Chan when he was a kid was in a Chinese opera yeah. group and it just like has that rhythm, boom, 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 and then like a fall or or like a slow mo kick or something, and then boom, 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 it has like a melody like a rhythm to it. There's uh, incredible <clears throat> editing in these yeah. old uh, Jackie Chan um, films. And of course, at the end, there's the it's, it's like a lot of Jackie Chan movies where they have like the the credits are just like him hurting himself and just having himself stitched up or something like that. Yeah, he constantly um, put his body on the line for it. Yeah. Uh, so Joe, I guess this is a stupid question. Would you recommend Police Story Two? Of course, just like Police Story One, I will 100 percent recommend this. Great all collection. Day, all day. Seven days a week, twice on Sunday. It it's a fantastic, uh, enjoyable film that literally anybody could watch, and enjoy it, even with just subtitles or whatever. Just it's so well kind of put together and tells the story very well in a physical manner. I will also recommend it. Um, it's not as great as Police Story, but it's like a slight notch down. Mm-hmm. But it's and it's I think it's a little tad too long. Yeah. But I think I think it really works. Um, this is a great collection right here. Um, so that's our thoughts on Police Story. What's your thoughts on Police Story Two? None. And Police Story One. Screw it. Uh, if yeah. you're late to the game and you just watch Police Story as well, tell us how you think. Uh, what's another Jackie Chan film that should be? I could see like in the Criterion Collection. I could see Burnt Drunken Master. Mm-hmm. I could see the the ten minutes of uh, the rooftop scene at uh, Who Am I? Just the ten minutes, um, Rumble in the Bronx. Or they could do another collection where it's uh it's um Super Cop, mm-hmm. which is the last one with Maggie Jung, and First Contact. They'd have both of them in one set and do Police Story three and four in one collection. There we go. Um, so as always, like, subscribe, share. Uh, thank you all for coming back for 2023. You have a lot of cool things. You can also buy uh, our produce our film here, Butterfly Black Velvet. There's a link at the bottom. If you're outside the U.S., uh, DM us on Instagram, Minkadish Productions, and we'll get you uh, a copy. It's only like seven dollars, so purchase it there. Find our stuff on Letterboxd. Um, just search Criterion Connection, and you can see a whole list of all the movies we've done. Um, there's some that are missing, like Beastie Boys stories, not there for because it's not one letterbox. But yeah. you can um, see if you watched all the Criterion movies we've reviewed and make suggestions. It's a new year, more suggestions. So until next time, I'm Wade, and I'm still Joe, and we will see you later. <laughs>